I noticed uh, two pieces of news that I wanted to talk about in this video. Uh, one is um, that in May this year, in May 2025, the level of carbon dioxide parts per million in the atmosphere has climbed to a new high. Uh, this is measured at Mount Mauna Loa in Hawaii every year. And um, the difference between the summer and autumn measurements when leaves globally trees in the northern hemisphere uh, grow leaves and shed leaves at the end of it during winter and summer gives and the, how much additional carbon is going into the atmosphere so this um, based on climate change this level has reached 430 parts per million it has climbed to which is the highest in the last 14 million years um, of records of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere in the same week we also there has been also an announcement by meta about building a super ai and investing 14 billion dollars note how in all these investments in of ai they never talk about how many jobs will be created because there will be none created maybe a few but each one of these investments will result in massive job losses that's why they don't talk about it and um, but the these data centers that will power these super AIs consume and guzzle huge amounts of water and power and so on the one hand you've got run climate change which is getting out of control because in the US the obviously what's happening with the disastrous failed state um, regime getting rid of all sorts of climate mitigate, change mitigation measures for example but also on the other hand you've got the runaway AI investment in data centers every time you hear of data center you need to ask how much water and how much power will that data center consume and where is that power and water going to come from basically and um, and that is bad news for the climate because essentially emissions will rise to such a level to satiate the demand of power and water for AI in a world where groundwater is already collapsing in many parts of the world there is drying patterns and and also obviously with power use um, if if sort of keeping 9 billion people fed and housed is a struggle already then imagine needing more power to um, drive the growth of AI so 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 these two things are the worst of both worlds that is coming and confluencing at the moment and, and and it's really hard to see how this will be mitigated um, so my thought process is every time you hear a data center is being is going to be built please ask if it is in your neighborhood or in your state or in your city how much power and water is going to consume Memphis in Tennessee is finding out from a data center that has been built by the famed Elon Musk that it's sort of guzzling water from the groundwater and also it's polluting the atmosphere with methane. So that's what you get from data center investment. Thank you.